Hi, I'm Shannon from houseimprovements.com and in today's video I want to show you how to change this uh, simple single pole switch to a dimmer switch. It's actually a pretty easy process and it won't take long to show you. First off though, I just want to mention that in most areas doing something like this can be done by a homeowner on their own without a permit, but just double check with your local authority to be sure that that is correct for your area. And uh, anytime you're doing electrical work, if uh, you know you're not un if you're not comfortable or you feel uneasy about what you're actually doing, uh, then definitely stop and phone a pro and have them come and do it. It's not worth it. it could definitely kill you. <laughs> uh, and and as always, turn your power off. Don't work on anything live. Turn your power right off, and uh, then you're not going to have any issues that way. Okay. So as I said, uh, changing this single pole switch to a dimmer is actually pretty straightforward, and most of these. Uh, Manufacturers also have pretty decent uh, schematics included in their packaging for exactly how to do this. So you can always reference back to that for their particular case. Uh, some dimmer switches will actually have wire leads coming off here that you'll use a wire nut to connect onto here. This one, they actually use uh, just uh, standard terminals with a screw in it. So it's very much like what you're gonna be taking apart. And uh, something else that's also helpful when you're doing any kind of electrical work, before you take something existing apart that's working, take some pictures just so you have something to reference back to in case you have a problem and, and you can't even remember how it was uh, originally when it was working. So uh, what, what you would do here, obviously turn the power off, remove your uh, switch from the electrical box, and uh, you're gonna find that you're gonna have two wires hooked to that switch, two only. Uh, in this scenario, it's actually really simple. We've got two wires there, and we're going to hook it to two wires on this uh, on this switch. This switch here, this particular one, is made to operate in a three-way switching scenario or single pole switching scenario. This sticker here is just indicating that the only time you would use the screw that's underneath it is in a three-way uh, application, and we're not doing that at all. So, so we simply have a black. Uh, spot here that we're going to hook the uh, power supply to and this spot here is uh, the wire the other black wire that is sending power to the light okay so we'll uh, start out by just uh, unscrewing and disconnecting this switch okay so we've got our two two wires there uh, now uh, this new uh, switch is a little different hookup where we're just going to be s sticking a straight wire in behind a tab that tightens up with that screw. So we just need to straighten out these wires so that we can do that. We'll get that. And I'm just going to hop over to this side because it's just simpler for me. So uh, there's, there's holes right here in the back that we're going to insert the wire into and tighten the screw up, like so. Maybe, there we go. Make sure the wire's pushed in all the way so there's no bare copper showing, like you don't want it sticking out like that. If uh, it goes in all the way as far as you can push it and there's copper sticking out, just pull it out and shorten it up a little bit so that it goes right in there. Okay, and we'll tighten that up, make sure that they're good. If, uh, if you're in the US and you are required to have a ground screw, or a ground wire, I mean, hooked to the switch, then you obviously need to pigtail out a piece of ground wire from back in there where they're in the box and uh, hook it onto the green ground terminal as well. Okay, so we've got that all uh, sitting there. I'm just gonna turn the power back on. Okay, so we've got power there. You can see our, our dimmer function works fine. There's actually on this one, there's a little wheel over on this side. You can actually uh, adjust kind of the brightness and stuff of, of how it dims on this one. But it looks like it all works. Shouldn't be any problems with it. So as you can see, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the only other thing I can think of to tell you to look at is on the packaging. Make sure that the dimmer that you're purchasing uh, we'll work with the type of bulbs that you're using. Uh, some LED bulbs, uh, some dimmers won't work with them. So just be sure that you're purchasing the right equipment for the type of circuit that you have. 
And other than that, if you have any other questions about this video or anything else uh, DIY related, you can come to our forum and post your question up there and I'll be sure to answer it or one of our other knowledgeable people will be able to get to it right away. All right, and uh, if you wanna see more of our great videos and maybe help us produce more of them, you can also right now click the link just below here to our Patreon page and uh, go check that out. Appreciate it, thanks for watching.